hi everyone so hope everyone is doing well and rocking so happy ugadi to you all and good morning everyone so myself saditya and again present to you a new vlog so this tuesday i'm traveling towards basada betta or mandakari betta or you can say mandakari hills i hope you have already seen the intro and you already know that who are meeting okay that's a very beautiful car and well, the civic is modified to some red ah great great anyway so what i was talking that uh, so this uh, place actually is around um, 79 to 80 km from my area i just stay in a uh, spice garden so people who want to visit this place uh, mandagari betta so they can directly take the route uh, whitefield vartu route to directly hl and uh, i'm also taking the same route so we'll be taking the route to hl then domlur and mg road then we'll take the kaban road to watch ishanpur after yashwantpur we'll take the nh48 so bangalore mumbai highway hope not to get much traffic uh, it's not much traffic this road is very good actually i like this route actually so this uh, around uh, 10 and 11 10 and 1/2 kilometers of uh, route almost like full of trees and shaded as you can see this road is one of my favorite and countless number of times i was usually have done uh, cycling in this road this is my uh, common road for cycling so i used to go to kavan for early morning and come back by 7 730 okay so great great so it's been a long time and still we have some sort of travel restrictions and all due to covid i'm not sure if the temple will be open or not but uh, let's see and as i checked in other vlog that uh, for uh, hills and to climb to the top of the hills there is no much restrictions not even restriction to go to the lake so so yeah that is uh, that's why i just uh, plan to uh, give a shot to visit this place even even it does feel good actually if you get uh, live in between your walking days so yesterday was my walking days monday and uh, tomorrow also i have uh, walk and in between these days i only have this ogadi and half day okay so uh, from here i'll I just take the right side and uh, if you are not aware of this route like it simply if you coming from uh, hl after domlu crossing then you have to take the right side from here around half kilometer you will get to the trinity circle or trinity church so in the from the trinity church you need to around maintain half kilometer again towards mg road but uh, don't need to go to the kaban you can take the right side that is the beautiful side you can see lots of cyclist and uh, so this is one of the thing i really like if you if you are uh, if you visit or riding early morning you will find lots of cyclists and passionate runners they will be there wow so that's a very beautiful car man it just came from and just vanished i'm not sure if which model is that is looks like porsche or lamborghini but the exhaust not was super super normally i mean uh, if you take this car out in the day time it will be very hard cause lots of traffic and this kind of cars catches lots of attention oh, it's perfect to ride this car only morning no traffic on all and you can speed up anyway i just cross the trinity metro from here i have to take the right turn and left turn so this is the kaban road Uh, which will take me to the Kaban Park, uh, Main Square actually, and uh, this road is also good, like full of trees and 
road condition is very good uh, this stretch is around three and a half kilometer around four kilometer uh, precise to say and yeah so uh if you guys already have visited uh, this place uh, if someone not i would highly recommend that uh, you can visit this place actually in weekend it's a perfect one a trip and uh, and if you have already so how have you feel about that place you can just let me know by commenting below and actually this blog i'm splitting into two parts so my other blog will be which will be containing the uh, off-roading uh, from the hills to the lake which is around one and a half kilometer off-roading there will be so I'll be providing the video descriptions uh, video link in the top of the video and also will be giving the details in the this video descriptions okay so you can you can you can watch this video and the detail off-roading scene will be there and this block will contain specifically regarding the climbing the surroundings the temples the views everything all the all about tour and travel so my left side this is chinna summer stadium uh, ipl is happening but due to covid and all, all it's all empty anyway i'm um, about to reach to the main square and from here i will take straight to the rajivan road and we'll keep continue to to sankey road so is on anyway guys so I have uh, skipped some part so I took the Sankey road I crossed I opened uh, Yashpanpur and uh, now heading I took the NH48 and the flyover I have took this flyover you can find uh, on my right side many metro stations started from Yashpanpur, Pini and Dasarahalli, Nagasandra three four metro station you will be able to see and then we'll head to the Nela Mangala town. I think this Nela Mangala from here, Rashmanpur, around 15 to 20 kilometers distance. So I have almost crossing after around few kilometers. Now I reach to the toll booth. This is Nava Yoga toll booth and Shadashiva Nagar. So this is the first toll booth you have to cross. So you will get total two toll booths. I have crossed this toll booth, Nava Yoga toll booth, and again to the NH48, and riding continues for the next. So from here it's roughly. Uh, 45 kilometers to reach road is good weather is good pleasant temperature and all set and this is the road basically you can take uh, directly to reach to the goa pune mumbai and uh, okay so after Nyavayoga toll and then again I have to cross Nila Mangala toll plaza it's around half kilometers from here little bit of traffic okay yeah I just cross Nila Mangala toll plaza and uh, after riding few kilometers and uh, now I'm really outskirt of the city and you can see the view and the highway so though I have not uh, 
interested enough to capture this highway shots on video but uh, the view actually captivated me uh, this wide view and on this outskirt it's very beautiful very beautiful as i always used to say the outskirt of bangalore is always always beautiful so not much distance around from here around 40 40 kilometers is there and after that i have to take the right side from the highway let's see while i ride you just enjoy the view and enjoy the journey and let's get to hear some music see like almost after passing 25 kilometers so I can literally spot the hills both both side of the highway I can spot the hills uh, it's so beautiful so right in these conditions Wow so I think I have another 15 kilometers to go as i can see in the map so from my home uh, as i've already crossed around 16 60 kilometers the road is very good i must say the road is very good not much uh, uh, no, not so many houses uh, and uh, suburb area here uh, I think the next big uh, town is Tumkur from here not sure about the place which place currently I'm, I'm just uh, passing through I'm just uh, maintaining my decent average speed are all about 80 to 85 and I'll just keep continue riding Okay, so enjoy the right and Okay, so I think I have almost uh, reached uh, the age of NH48. From here, I have to take the right side. Not sure about the exact place name, but uh, if you are coming by following the Google map, it will exactly take you there. And from there, I'm just taking the right side. So I think there is some. Um, Rail crossing is over. I'm just checking the subway underpass. And okay, 
great, great. It, it just took me a while to reach here actually. It took around one hour. Uh, one, one hour and 20, one hour, 15 minutes around to reach here. And from here, it's the distance is around 4 kilometers, 4.5 kilometers. It's almost uh, I have reached. Wow. So, this trip is also deserted. The uh, road is good. It's a little bit of narrow. I don't think I have to do some off-roading here. I don't want. Okay, after crossing a few kilometers, uh, two kilometers almost, uh, I have taken the right side again. And from here, I also have to take the left side. Don't go straight, take the left. And here you can see the beautiful Mandagiri Betta in my right side. I'm just continue to ride. Wow, it's really beautiful. Not sure about the local peoples. I have hardly noticed uh, people's uh, houses and uh, residential area. Not sure. I mean, uh, I mean, here there are some few villages, but all I can say it's very vast and almost empty places. Not, not uh, there is not much people. Not even shop I have even noticed. So. In case if you're coming here, just ensure in the four and four and a half kilometer radius, you won't get any shop or uh, anything like this. So, just want to suggest that you can bring your own foods and some waters, because you may not get here. There is some small shop open again in my left side. Okay, so this is the temple. I'll visit it later. So the door was closed actually. I have reached here. So here I've just parked my bike and I just came from the Smiley Lake. Now the sun has little bit came up already. The sky is beautiful and I have to climb this lot and lots of stairs. I just have my helmets on, my jackets on and having my GoPro in my one hand and I'm just walking, climbing the stairs. It may look easy that the stairs are good and little bit of white, but while you're climbing with your bag and helmets and everything and having your mask, it's actually a bit tiring. Okay, so uh, what I uh, get to know that uh, there is around 500 to 600 steps are there uh, to reach to the top. And if you feel uh, this staircase is easy to, you can easily uh, go to the top climbing the staircase. It's not that easy. You are literally climbing a hills. It's not so easy. So see the view guys it's so beautiful and the sky is so bluish and this is the hills i always suggest that you better visit the hills uh, during early morning or at morning but uh, not after uh, 11 or uh, not during uh, not at afternoon evening also good but prefer to visit in uh, early morning so little bit of tired I'm just uh, running out of gas just because of the bags and everything I've kept and just I'm climbing continuously and the foothills I just parked my bike I cannot even see and still like guess another 100 and 150 steps I need to take to go to the top so i will just uh, go to the top we'll capture some shots panoramic view from the top and we'll show you guys that how does it looks like from the top of mandagiri beta 
actually if you if you go to the top uh, there is another small temple and one pond is also there and you can also see the Maidara lake just behind these hills from the top so we'll be able to see so here some construction is happening i'm just taking rest after uh, sorry for the uh, uh, okay finally so i've reached to the top and i'm just taking some rest i'm just uh, running out of gas uh, it's just breathing heavily sorry for the noise guys so view you can get similar like this uh, it's a very wide view and few other hills you can see far from all the crowd and everything from a city life now i'm here almost 80 kilometers away from a city in the morning and sitting over the top of the hills it feels very very good no cannot spot any people some people have came already and they i think they have left and i'm not able to see any other people so here is some construction and temple i think it's going on so i just came to the opposite side of the hills see wow that's so beautiful it's the myrella lake actually so beautiful here yeah. great 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 i have already uh, captured another video detailing about this myrella lake and offroading you can have a look and this is the view from the other side i'm not going to the behind of the temple behind of the hills there is there are some ponds also but uh, already a bit tired and spend around 20 minutes roaming here and there i cannot spot anyone anyway guys so i have climbed down uh, so i have come to the temple site now unfortunately it's closed uh, but uh, what i came to know from other blog and videos the inside is very beautiful let me show you guys the glimpse of the temple actually this is one of the famous pilgrim temple for jainism peacock jain temple and this temple is very nicely constructed and which is a lot of uh, resembles like a peacock feathers we call pinchi and this area is also host a huge statue of chandranatha tirthankara the jain leader and uh, there are many other sculptures and statues inside the temple i wish i could have uh, got the entry and to show you and capture a detailed video of it but unfortunately due to the covid restrictions i am not allowed to do so anyway guys so i'm just uh, ending my vlog over here and uh, if you like this video and if you like this place i will suggest please to come and visit the parking is free you can park at your own risk there's ample place available so have a good day guys bye bye everyone